What's going on everyone? Carlos here at Disney World Free. We're back. We're back here. Hell's Kitchen for round two. We're gonna try something a little different than last time. Forget the burgers. Burgers are okay, but I'm sure what we're gonna have today is a little bit better. So come on, join us for this review. So if you missed the first vlog, here's a little overlay of what the inside looks like. You got the kitchen there. You got the wine cellar, wine room over that way. We're in the booth this time. Last time we were in that table, actually right there. But yeah, love it in here. Really nice design. Here's uh, another look at the menu. Again, we were here a few weeks ago, but for the ones that didn't see it, you got the raw bar some appetizers, salad and pizza. Again, this is the lunch menu. You got your sandwiches, you got your entrees, which are part of the dinner as well. You got your sides, I apologize for the shadows right now. And then there's a prefix menu that also goes for uh, dinner as long, along with lunch. So this video is more just food review because like I said, we were here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so go back and watch that video more in detail of the restaurant. Uh, in that video, you can see the, the shop they have, the entrance where the portraits of all the winners from the past seasons of Hell's Kitchen is. Go back and watch it. So I was told I can get a video of the kitchen but I got to stay behind the rope so here's the rope I'm gonna get you a quick video from behind the kitchen really cool fire grill I love a good fire grill you got your red team you got your blue team you also got a nice pizza oven going on over there love wide open kitchens man you can't screw that up you can always Watch what they're doing. Really nice atmosphere in here. All right, so this time, like I said, last time we went, both went with burgers. Didn't want to have a burger again. Go back to the video, you'll know why. Uh, so I went with the short rib grilled cheese, which looks amazing. Comes with fries and some pickled vegetables. Uh, pickled something. And Suzanne went with the lobster roll, which being up here in New England, it's going to have to compete with uh, a lot of local seafood restaurants. So we'll see how it is and uh, we'll let you know. So judging by the plates or tree trunks, because that's what the sandwiches are served on, tree trunks. Very cool. Um, very good. Very good better than the burgers I'll admit that right now uh, only complaint I have about my grilled cheese was it could use a little more cheese plenty of meat uh, I think it could have been a little cheesier uh, Suzanne liked the lobster roll it's a warm lobster roll she prefers cold uh, but again it's a lobster roll uh, it was very good uh, but living up here in New England Rhode Island Massachusetts it's hard to compete with certain places for lobster rolls but it was good uh, was this grilled cheese worth the the value of the price yes it was uh, again being used to paying what we pay for uh, Disney prices it compares to that so yes I would definitely come back for that again over the burger dessert menu dessert menu I am full but let's go over it in case you missed it in the last one sticky toffee pudding chocolate peanut butter trifle berry and cream cheesecake and coconut three ways and you got your coffees your teas I apologize for the shadow 
you got your dessert wine, your cognac. I'm not a drinker, especially at $300 a shot. But yeah, we're gonna get this some dessert. I'm gonna get my peanut butter trifle, and I'm not sure if Suzanne's gonna get anything, but we'll see. So I'll get this out there now. The service is not the greatest today compared to the last time. She's in one of those I don't give a shit moods. Uh, I've seen her even with other tables. Oh, so that's unfortunate. You know, I don't expect perf you know perfection, but as a wait staff, you you know you work for your tips. That's your 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 bread and butter. Uh, put a little bit of effort into it. That's all I ask. A little bit of effort. Dessert has arrived. Again, I went with the peanut butter. If you guys saw the last video, you know how much I fell in love with this thing, so I had to go with that. Suzanne tried something different. She went with the cheesecake. Berry and cream cheesecake. Looks pretty nice. Not a cheesecake fan, but she is, so she's gonna enjoy that. I'm going to indulge in this thing. So here's the check this time around. A little more expensive, uh, I guess because of the lobster roll, not bad. Uh, that's a normal price for lobster roll, $33. Come up here to New England, that's that's what you're gonna pay for. Uh, again, a grilled cheese, 27. Was it a $27 grilled cheese? Uh, yes and no, it, it was better than a burger, but uh, 27, eh, it, it's, it's, it's pushing it, it's really pushing it. So that's it, that's our review, second time around here at Hell's Kitchen. So much better than the burgers. So much better. Again, like I said, I've had better burgers at Disney and shoot Applebee's. Um, so not worth coming here for that. But this, this definitely was. Did you like it? Yes. She liked it. That's all you're gonna get from her. Uh, I'm gonna put the link to the last vlog from here down below. Go watch it. Compare them. Uh, leave a comment to this video. And yeah, if you like to give it a thumbs up. If not, it's cut half her head away. If not, hey, that's your decision too. But thanks for watching, and that's it. Bye.